Today, the Bridgewater Community Preservation Committee is excited to announce our ongoing update of its five-year community preservation plan. The committee invites all residents to participate in shaping the community's future through the Community Preservation Act. This plan will guide how the Community Preservation Committee prioritizes projects in open space, recreation, community housing, and historic preservation. The CPC has scheduled a virtual community forum on Monday, November 4th, 6 p.m. via Zoom. The state's Community Preservation Act is a funding tool which enables Massachusetts communities to create a local community preservation committee. The committee recommends open space, historic preservation, community housing, and recreation projects for appropriation of CPA funds by the town council. Bridgewater's CPA program, adopted by referendum vote in 2005, is funded by a 2% property tax surcharge. After the first 100,000 evaluation, of evaluation, the matching grants from the State Community Preservation Trust Fund can be funded also by deed registration fees and the state legislative appropriations. Since inception, the town has received nearly 14 million in CPA projects revenue. This includes three and a half million from the state CPA trust fund match. The CPC has recommended the town and the town council appropriated over $11 million of CPA funds. These projects include several studies and planning documents, construction of the girls softball field on Crescent Street, installation of pickleball courts at the senior center, Styles and Hart Park open space acquisitions and improvements, partial funding for the former McElwain School restoration for affordable housing and a public playground included in that. Several restorations of the 1898 Academy building for town offices has been funded. Restoration of the preservation of the 1882 Memorial building after a minor earthquake in 2013 and installation of accessible ramps in 2020 was funded by CPC and CPA. Acquisition of the conservation restrictions on the Keith Homestead and Lakeside Drive, and I will add to the Murray Needs Farm is also in 2015 purchased a preservation restriction. And in 2010 and 2022, CPA funds have been used to preserve the exterior of the townhouse, uh, former town hall. Preservation of many historic documents and more have been done. We invite and encourage all community members to attend this important community forum and share your ideas, discuss community priorities, and help shape the goals for our community preservation plan. Together, let's preserve and enhance what makes Bridgewater a great place to live, work, and play. Join us in shaping our community's future. Thank you, Colin, for a great summary of our Community Preservation Committee and CPA funding. Um, as Cal noted, there will be a public forum on November 4th, a virtual forum on Zoom at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, you can check Facebook or also the town website for the Zoom link. It will be publicized. We hope everyone participates, and I want to thank you for everybody that completed the survey we recently had out. Um, hope to see everyone at the forum. Um, it's your money, your town, and we want your ideas. Thank I'll, you. I'll add, we've had over 180 responses to our survey. Probably the best response we've had in the years we've been a CPC, CPA community. Thank you.